Hey everybody, Final Miner back again for another episode. And like I promised, today we are going to be building out our power system some more. Um, so, last time we got the laser and a high voltage capacitor from Immersive Engineering stuck up in the wall, or in the ceiling. And I went ahead and crafted a bunch of stuff off camera. Uh, that we're going to be able to use to finish that out. Let's see. That fellow. Yeah. Oh, lasers. Duh. Okay, so one thing that I crafted, which uh, we have not done on camera, is a cache from Thermal Expansion. And it works pretty much exactly like the barrels from Java used to in 1.7.10 days in days of yore and uh, what you do is you right click it with an item it'll stick that item in there you can lock it by shift right clicking that'll put that little lock there um, and you can continue to put items in with right click you can take out one item with a left click and you can shift left click to pull I guess it would be a whole stack there's not a whole stack in there so you notice I've taken all of the torches out, it's still showing, hey, I hold torches. If I unlock it, that'll disappear. Uh, and one more thing that can be useful is you can lock it. It's not showing the lock, but it makes the little click. Like that. And then when you put an item into it, it will store that item and lock it. So if, if you had, say, a whole wall of these things, and you had pipes connected to the back of them. Uh, you could just pipe items into it and if you already had it locked then uh, each one of them as soon as it got a torch or netherrack or something like that it would lock it and then uh, even if you pulled the items out it would stay locked. So it would be a good way to reserve that cache for a specific item. And the reason why we made this oh yeah they preserve their items when you break and pick them up too. So the reason why we made this is to help with our power system a little bit later and you'll see how that goes here in just a bit. So anyway we've got our laser system set up here on top. The first thing that I want to do is to stick a capacitor over here in our farming area because we're gonna put a farming tool excuse me a farming machine down here sooner rather than later and we're gonna need power to get in there so we'll go ahead and stick a capacitor there and while we're here we'll stick down a laser let's see we've got our laser wrench so let's go ahead and get those hooked up oh, oh okay now let's see, is that cutting through the building? Yeah, it's cutting through the building. Uh, yeah, I don't really like that. You know what? Hmm. Okay, so I think we'll tweak that just a little bit. But you get the idea. Uh, we'll have capacitors in the roof of each building. And then... Uh, we'll have the lasers running back and forth between each building's roof like that. And then on the inside, the capacitor will drain out to go into each building as it needs to. Okay. So we're going to fix this like... Actually... Hmm. Doesn't want me to do that. Fine, I'll just break you. Oh, we'll need that in a second. Okay. Here we go. So what we'll do is we'll just stick a couple of logs here. Put the laser like that. And there we go. And that looks better. Come on, you. Connect here connect here. Okay. Much better. No phone. 
I don't know why, but my phone's voice activation turns on constantly. It'll be sitting in my pocket, and I'll be watching, you know, a video or something. And the thing will just turn on. I'll be driving down the street. Radio's not even turned on. Driving down the street, and, uh, yeah, you get the idea. So, now we've got a little bit of a pickle here. How are we going to get the laser past this tower? So I think we'll probably have one that's sitting something like, you know, something like that. And we'll try connecting those two. It might be too far. And then we'll have a capacitor somewhere that this will go to as well. Okay, so let's see if that's close enough. If it's not, we may have to think about this for a minute. Oh, come on. Yeah, or it is too far away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So there's a couple of options. I could put a kind of like a power pole halfway between, uh, which is basically just there to hold the relay up so it can jump. Or I guess I could switch to a whole different system. Don't really want to switch to a whole different system. We're just getting started here. I'm not going to give up on it. So let's go with this. Let's grab some stone here and our chisel. Hello, chisel. We're going to end up chiseling something every single episode, it seems like. And let's see what kind of fence. Maybe not fence. Let's call it a wall. Like a stone wall. There's the cobblestone wall. Mossy cobblestone wall. Those are from Blood Magic. I don't know that we're ever going to get into Blood Magic or Batania. Unfortunately, it's very possible that we will never get into it. Just because we've got so much to do. I'm not going to do a series where we try to build one of every single possible thing. That's just not really interesting to me. We're going to do it kind of a themed build. Each each base and each you know play that we do is going to have kind of a different theme to it. The theme for this one is going to be more, you know, machinery and probably more old style machinery, like trains and things like that. So, Blood Magic, not likely to be using much of their walls. Uh, well, I guess we can go cobblestone. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. We'll see how it looks. Cobblestone wall. Give me some. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. Okay. Do we have any more scaffold? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. So, let's go to, say, here. Yeah, let's try that. How much more? So that's a little bit higher than that laser. Yeah, a little bit higher. And it should be close enough to the main building. Um, let's see if we can link it from here. Because I, from what I remember, every time a laser splits, half of the capacity goes one way and half the capacity goes the other. We really don't want half of our total capacity to go to the farm. That would be pretty wasted. Um, yeah. Although it might, I guess it's probably doing that anyway. Uh, oh well. <laughs> never mind. I never said anything. Link that. Now how does this look? 
Uh, actually better than I thought. That actually looks a lot better than I was worried it might. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Linky. And then we'll run up to the roof and try to get that last bit. You know, since we've got that there, yeah, we'll go ahead and link it here. Okay. Excellent. No, phone. I'm not talking to you. Man. All right. Uh, let's see. So, how about we just go ahead and go straight in here? Yeah. Wow. Let's just go straight in here. Um, because I was wondering, eh, do I really want the lasers to go all through the base? And the answer is, yes, I do. Yes, I, I definitely do. Some people seem to be really strict, really serious, whatever, about hiding all of their pipes and all of their, you know, lasers and, and wiring and stuff behind walls. I'm actually the opposite. I actually think it looks pretty cool. And so I want it to be visible, at least a little bit. There we go. So having lasers running through our base, that's kind of awesome in my opinion. So let's see if we can get that to link out to here. Is that too far? Are you too far? You are not too far. Excellent. Excellent. Um, let's see. So this is going to be kind of weird. Out to here. Jump. I'm standing on my redstone thing, aren't I? Yeah. Will you link, or are you too far? Nope, that's not too far. We must have just barely not been able to connect the power station over here to the main. So here's how it's weird. I'm going to be running through my laser every time. That's just kind of a temporary elevator anyway, though. Or a uh, temporary ladder. So let's see. Now we've got that. I feel like we can break the survival generator now. Although, is it going to lose its power? That's eh, 10 grand. Who cares? 10 grand. Piece of coal has 10 grand. Okay. And from there, let's go. Uh, let's let's stick it something like right here. Okay. And link that. I'd really rather keep it in straight lines. You know what? Yeah, let's just let's do it the right way. I don't know if there's a really easy way to break a laser link once it's connected. I wish I did know. Anyway, what I was talking about, have one here and then have one here. That way, instead of being at an angle, all the lasers connect. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now all the lasers will be at right angles. That's what I was thinking of. Until we get down here. Sack mill. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and keep this guy powered. And we'll have these run up to this fellow here. I think that's okay. Okay, so somehow I ran out of lasers. Completely out of lasers. Whoa! Okay, it's snowing. <laughs> so this is something I have thought about but I haven't done anything about and that is we're gonna get snow on our roof um, I'm not sure how much of that I want up here probably zero although the um, torches and such will keep it from accumulating so there's that 
later on we can stick some more lights up here and it'll keep it thawed off. That's not too bad. You know what? I've always thought the snow looks really pretty. It's kind of cool that there's a, a nice looking snow like this in Minecraft. Yeah, I enjoy that. Okay, back to work. So we've hooked up a power system going through to our machines and we're gonna need some more lasers. We're gonna need more lasers on both ends. So let's just go ahead and craft some more. Get say eight obsidian, four redstone blocks, redstone, four redstone blocks. I think we're going to need redstonia crystals. And what else do we need? Obsidian, redstonia, laser blocks, or uh, redstone blocks. And then we're going to need advanced coils. Each advanced coil is basically a gold ingot. And it's also, let's see, it's a little bit of redstonia crystal. Uh, four actually, four each. And then we're going to need two black quartz, one black quartz for each. We probably need to go ahead and get the actually additions crusher up to because it doubles the black quartz and I think it's the only machine that will double it. Let's see if we can if we can check on that. That will double it. Oh, blood magic can double it. Okay. The crusher can double it and it actually cr doubles it straight into black quartz. It doesn't double it into a powder or whatever that you have to smelt. That's interesting. Oh, the sag mill will. Well, what was I talking about? What nonsense was I talking about? I don't know if that's new or what, but it seems like I looked it up before and I just. I couldn't find another way to double it easily. Okay, well. Never mind. <laughs> uh, uh, never mind. Yeah. And maybe it's just me. It looks like that processes really quickly, too. More quickly than other materials do. Eh. Anyway. I'm, I kind of don't want to sleep because I don't want it to stop snowing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we have our black quartz, and we have everything we need to craft our lasers. Two of those, turn these into nuggets, two of these, and eight of these. Nice. Okay, um, how about this? We need a door for the power plant. Let's just take one of those and slap it on the door to keep creepers from creeping up on us. It might sound crazy. I kind of like the fact that the snow makes it harder to see. <laughs> I snuck through there. I kind of like how it makes it harder to see because, I don't know, it feels more realistic. And I think realistic is kind of awesome. Okay, that's good enough for now. So, here we are in the power plant. Uh, we have our furnace generator. I guess, do we have our survival? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's go ahead and just slap these suckers down. And maybe even get them started. Okay. There we go. works for me. I don't think we have any fuel though. Anyway, so now we have a working power system. Um, that should, we may have to toggle the capacitors a little bit to make sure they're inputting and outputting correctly, but otherwise we've got a power system working. So what we need to figure out now is how to do our oil system. 
oil, oil, oil. So if you remember, we had these two fermenting barrels with our canola presses on top and we are feeding canola in here which squeezes it into the oil. The oil will automatically eject down into the barrels and the barrels will kind of passively convert that into a higher grade of oil for fuel. And then they like to auto eject actually. Um, however, we need a way to get the oil into the oil generator and we need a way to get the canola into the canola presses and then we also need a way to get the um, to get power into the presses I think that's what I was going for power into the presses so for the oil what if we do something like you know we could even put it right here and have them auto eject into it. I think that would actually work. And so then maybe we go here, and here, and here, and here. And that should solve our that should solve our power problems. So here, as we have it now, it should be a closed system. Um, it will power itself in indefinitely as long as we keep feeding it canola and then we go over here and now it should be feeding power to the main base okay so the question is how do we get canola in here the canola item we could do it through the back here through the wall um, that's not impossible actually that's that's not impossible to do Hmm, let's go take a look at the outside. Knock, knock. So that would put them, let's see, right here. No. <laughs> oh yeah, this is just above the floor. That's right. There we go. So that would put it, put it right there and right there. And so really we would just need to get item lasers on the back and have it piping the items in that way. For over here, do we have our cache? We don't have our cache yet. I don't know, we might not even need the cache. We'll just have to see. My idea was that the cache, oh, you know what, just all right, leave the door off. <laughs> Just leave it off. Oh, hey. Huh. So maybe we stick the cache like that. And we can have it... Or... Okay. I'm kind of thinking to myself here. I know that's extremely boring to listen to, because I have... Um, someone in my life that likes to constantly think out loud to themselves and it's it's very frustrating to listen to I saw that post for some reason I thought it was a creeper so I think what we'll do is yeah okay so we'll probably put a cache like right where's the middle yeah it's gotta be like right there like right there Okay, and we'll put item lasers on each side, maybe, perhaps. I wonder if the item lasers can actually pull out, though. I don't think they can. That's the thing about item lasers that makes them complicated. I don't think they can actually pull from the inventory that they're attached to. You have to push into them. Hmm. Anyway, let's get some item lasers before we think about this too much more. I think we've only got a couple in here. So, let's go convert these last two power ones. Oh, look at that. 
Okay, okay. We're gonna have a snow problem. I love that. I love that sound. That's a cool laser sound. So we would have, say, a farmer. Farming machine. Yeah. Right here, I think. Here. Nope. Right here. And we'll have a laser relay right here. You know what? Because this is glass, I might not feel too bad about having a laser go through it. I mean, if you think about it, why would a laser not be able to go through? Why not? So let's give it a shot. Give it a shot. This cache, I don't think the cache is going to be useful. Okay, so let's get our laser wrench. Uh, yeah. How do you wrench a laser anyway? Okay. So going through to our power plant. And then I... So from what I remember, the lasers will not pull something from a machine. The machine has to kick it out by itself. Or you can use something else to uh, to push it into the laser. Um, there's actually an item in Actually Editions that's really good at that. Let's see if we can find it real quick. At Actually. And it's the ESD. The Expelling Sugar Dagger. Or maybe it's the Efficient Sucking Dilettante. Or maybe the Energetic Solo dancer, extra long solidifying disassociation, extraordinary sample deliverer. Anyway, um, basically what this is, it's a hopper with one slot, and you can configure which direction it pulls from and which direction it pushes to. So if you've ever wished you could have an upside down hopper that would pull from down and push to up, here it is. This is it right here. So to make that, we're going to need a log, four planks and four sticks, to make a wood casing. Okay. Let's just grab a bunch of this. Let's see. ESD, right? ESD. What is that? Like the... I, I, extreme salsa dancer. I can't remember. Oh, we need sticks. Give me, give me sticks. Might as well make two of these. Okay, so that gives us our wood casing, and then we need a nori crystal. A couple of nori <laughs> crystals. In case you forgot, Inori crystals are just, um, they're just lasers that get shot by the, did I say lasers? They're iron ingots that get shot by the laser. Okay. Wow. So, not too expensive, really. Just a bunch of wood and a couple of iron and then some, uh, some energy in your laser. Not too bad. Anyway, even if we don't need these for this particular part of the build, we can use it to test. So let's break that. Stick that there. And, oh, I forgot. I wanted to show you something. Something I found in Actually Editions that was so ridiculous I just had to craft it. It's a crafting table, and a sign gives us a crafting table on a stick. Oh joy.
crafting table on a stick. So yeah, it does exactly exactly what I thought. You right click, you get a three by three crafting grid. How silly. I love it though. There we go. So now we have a chest. Okay, so you can slap down yeah you can slap down uh, anything with an inventory let's say we want our scaffolds to go there and then you click on your extreme sand digger ethereal system dude I like that one click on your ethereal system dude inbound that's the direction you're gonna pull from um, and so we're gonna be pulling from the north that's north so inbound up down north. There it goes. Sorry about that. I bumped the mic. Pulls from the north. Outbound. We want. How, where is it going to push to? How about up? Well, it's not pushing up. Why is it not pushing up? The lasers don't actually have an inventory themselves. They just connect two inventories. If that makes any sense. So, pretty much, before the lasers will even touch it, they have to have something to push into. They won't push until they've got something to push into. So, let's try putting this canola in here. And once we pull this out, once we, once we pull it out, it's still not pushing. Uh, so anyway, this item should be pushing the canola, should be pushing it into the laser system, and the laser system should be looking at those and saying, yeah, I can stick canola in there. Here, let me stick canola into these canola presses. Why you, why you no work? <sighs> so this is the frustrating part of it. I'm gonna tinker with it a bit. I'll be back in a minute when I'll get it working. Okay, so I think, I wasn't sure before, but I think we are gonna have to use what's called the item interface. Um, I need a chest for that. A chest. A, no mouse wheelie? No mouse wheelie? Yeah. The item interface is supposed to allow the item laser system to interact with in, uh, what should I call it inventories in the laser system. Um, so if you want to push into the laser system, for example, you wow, wait what? Wait what? I'm almost out of redstone. Wow, I must have really been using a lot of redstone. So if you want to push an item into the laser network, then you need to push it into an item interface. It seems like that's what's going on. Um, so anyway, item interface, picture of a chest on every side. And I'm going to use this to do a little more testing. Hopefully this will get it working. Okay, so I've got it partly working. Um, I'll get the laser pushing into this item interface and as soon as I stuck a piece of canola in there it seems like the laser interface saw it and said oh yeah I can stick canola there um, right yeah <sighs> so anyway I hope that's not the like final answer because I don't want to have to stick all this stuff there like, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. So anyway, let's try taking this out. And it sticks a new stack in. Okay, well. I guess once the laser sees that it can stick some canola there, then it will try to do that. Okay, good. That's draining. Anyway, I'll be back in a second when I see if I can make this look a little bit better. Okay, so this is the only way I've been able to figure out how to get it to work. Um, have the item laser, have the canola pushed up into it, like this. 
Okay, it gets pushed in there. The the um, ESD, there we go, pushes into the item laser, and the item laser connects to the item interface, and then we have another ESD pulling the items out of the laser system, and then we'll tell it to push into the canola press on the other end. Go, all of you. Yeah, so apparently once you've stuck at least one item on the other end, it will recognize that that can go there. So I'm going to have to craft another ESD and another item interface. And while we're here, just go ahead and link that. And then we should be good to go. We should have a fully automated, well, hmm. We should have we should have a way to automatically send canola to the power plant. We don't actually have a way to automatically farm it yet. Small details like that. Tiny, tiny little details. So let's see. Let's make an ESD first. ESD. Which is a extraordinary sample deliverer. Let's see. We needed and a nori crystal and a bunch of wood. Let's see here. From what I remember, get us some sticks. And oh yeah, we need to. I forgot about that. I forgot we'd need to. Okay, so that's not an ESD. There, that's an ESD. And then we need an interface. Yeah, item interface. And that's mostly redstone, actually. Mostly redstone. As you can see, I've gone ahead and cooked up a whole bunch of black quartz. So I wonder if we have enough redstonia crystal. We actually don't have enough redstonia crystal. Wow. Wow. So our next problem is going to be redstone. Ha 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 ha. Love it. We actually have quite a few redstone ore blocks. So it's it's not really a problem. I just haven't gotten around to processing those yet. We've been busy with other stuff. Do we have our chisel? We do. Okay. Yeah, I needed to fix the big hole in the greenhouse that I made. Okay. So, four of these. And the chest. Alright. Actually, you know what? Let's do the convenience recipe. And that should let us do it. Okay. So now you can watch me place the blocks, at least, this time. And that'll give you an idea of how I have set it up. Do the item interface. It seems like the item interface allows the laser network to say, Hey, there's an inventory here you should do something with. Or something like that. Well, that one pulled it right away. I didn't have to stick one in there. So, you know what? I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know. Maybe it's just a weird thing, like the very first time you have to stick it in there. I don't know. I don't know. But this is going to push to the east. This one's going to push to the east. There we go. Yeah. You got some more? Not really. We only had about three stacks all together. So. Not that strange. So this is producing oil, which is running in here to the oil generator. Which is producing 100 RF a tick. Somehow that's not quite keeping up with what these guys are using, though. 
I wonder. Oh, this fella doesn't even have a laser on top, an energy laser. There we go. I can't tell if that's getting charged at all or not. Kind of hard to tell. Hmm. I don't think there's a way to right click interact with those. There may be a way to make them only accept power or only send power. I kind of feel like there is. That would make sense, right? So maybe these are set to only send power or something silly like that. We'll have to check the manual really quickly. All right, here we are. Laser. I'm looking for laser. Fluid energy. Let's see. So, when placing a power generator or receiver next to the relay, it can receive power from any other relay in the network and send power to any other relay as well. There's a light energy loss. Energy loss? What? Interconnecting different tiers is possible. Hmm. Can't be combined with phantom faces. Ah, uh, really? Well, that's kind of... I guess they can't be connected to each other. Yeah, phantom faces let you kind of... kind of duplicate a block so that you can hook things up to it. Like I could have a grinder right here and then I could connect a phantom face to it so that the phantom face was sort of pretending to be this block and then I could run pipes and stuff into the phantom face and it would feed it into the machine. I could feed power in here and feed it into the machine. So any kind of situation where you have a machine, maybe you just don't have enough room to get all your pipes into it or maybe you just need too many pipes to get into it phantom faces can be really good for that okay so these are at full power I guess that part's working his buffer is not staying full although I wonder okay yeah this capacitor is filling up too so I don't think we have to worry about this guy wasting his power anytime soon. Those guys aren't running. Okay, so the capacitor will be ejecting from there. And let's go check our building's capacitor really quickly to make sure it is not blocked. To make sure it's set to where it can accept power. Zero power I have a feeling that that's not correct. It still feels incorrect. Okay. Let's see if that does it. I don't think so, but... Yeah, so that's connected all the way. Why you why you no charge? It's not ejecting already, is it? Now, is it just filling this up? No. Well, that's not what I meant. So it's not powering those. So how come it's not connecting over here? They're hooked up. Could it be that it's just all going to that other capacitor over there? Surely not, right? Well, that one's not even accepting power. 
Oh, you know what? I bet. I bet this one's not ejecting. Yeah, that's not even ejecting. That's what it was. Laser wrench for wrenching lasers. There it goes. Now it's taking power. And we'll check our... <clears throat> excuse me. We'll check our building, too. Are you accepting power? Begin accepting power. There it goes. Yeah. Okay, good. That makes me feel a lot better. They're not getting any power. That's the only thing about using um, using these laser relays with the capacitors. It's hard to see inside. Excuse me. It's hard to see how the capacitor is outputting, or if it's outputting at all. There we go. Yeah, the pa the capacitor stored power is going down. And these are going up. That one's already full. Good grief. Yeah. Okay, so we got ourselves a mostly functioning energy system. Um, still a few bugs to work out and we still gotta get the canola farm up and running automatically so that we're feeding fuel into our power plant but other than that we have a finished power system that's gonna be really nice how are we doing these are staying full of power this fellow is still burning it that should be fine. Those capacitors. We have three capacitors out there that can hold four million each. I don't think this guy's going to burn up twelve million worth. So we should be good there. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, I think next episode we're going to finish off the bridge. And after that, We'll just have to see. Probably get some more awesome mining stuff set up. See you guys next time.